Today, I'm gonna walk you through how to make your own animated cartoon videos entirely with AI. No need for animation skills, no pricey software, and absolutely no drawing required. Let me show you what's possible. Here's a cartoon I just made using only AI tools. Max loved exploring his grandfather's attic, but today he found something unexpected. Sometimes the greatest treasures are right where you least expect them. Pretty cool, right? And I put that together in just a few hours using the same steps I'm about to show you. Now, you might be thinking this must be hard or expensive, but honestly, once you know the process, it's very doable. So let's break it down step by step. We'll start with the script. I'm using ChatGPT, but you can use any AI writing tool. Here's my prompt. Write a 30 second animated short script about a curious boy named Max who finds an old treasure map in his grandfather's attic that leads to a surprise in his backyard. Being clear about the style, tone, and plot always helps the AI generate something solid. What I got was a simple fun adventure, short and structured, with a clear beginning, middle, and end. Before I go further, let me give you a quick pro tip. Don't just stop at one draft. I usually ask ChatGPT to generate two, three variations of the story. Then I mix and match the best elements. This lets me tighten the pacing, add suspense, or even give Max a twist like a secret diary or a riddle inside the map. If you want your animation to really stand out, take that extra time up front to refine the story. Now here's why this matters. Creating these characters isn't just fun, there's real opportunity here. Many creators are building whole brands around AI-generated characters and monetizing them. In fact, you've probably seen channels on TikTok and YouTube Shorts that feature nothing but AI characters. Some of these are racking up millions of views simply by combining personality-driven scripts with consistent visuals. And that's what makes this tutorial powerful. You're not just learning how to make videos, you're learning how to build an asset you can reuse across content, merch, or even NFTs. All right, let's build our main character, Max. For that, I'm using OpenArt's consistent character feature. I'll drop the link below if you wanna follow along. Or if you want an alternative, you can also try Character AI or Leonardo AI, but I've found OpenArt to be the most reliable for consistent visual style over multiple generations especially when working with animation scenes where continuity is everything. Okay, on OpenArt, go to Storytelling and choose Consistent Character. You'll get three options to create your character. Describe them with text, upload a single image, or upload four or more images for more control. I'll use the text description route since we're starting from scratch. Here's the character prompt I'll enter. A curious 10-year-old boy named Max with tousled brown hair bright eyes full of wonder, wearing a red tee, blue jeans, and sneakers. He has a playful smile and carries a small backpack. The style is cartoonish with bold colors and slightly exaggerated features think animated movie style. I'll also choose a Pixar-like look for that animated feel. Then I click Generate Previews. Now, we get some options, and this is the fun part. I'll pick the version that best matches our vision for Max and click Create Character. OpenArt will now build a consistent character model, which usually takes just a few minutes. Once that's done, we can drop Max into any scene and keep his appearance consistent throughout. That's the power of OpenArt, unlike other tools where the character changes in every frame. Next, let's generate our scenes. Go to Create with Character and write image prompts based on your script. Here's how I'll structure mine. Scene 1. Max exploring a dusty attic filled with old trunks and books, with sunlight streaming through a tiny window. Look at this generation. Max looks exactly like the character we selected earlier, from his messy hair to the red t-shirt and backpack. And because we chose the Pixar style setting, all the background elements, the lighting, the colors, even the way the shadows fall match that same animated movie look I had in mind. This is why being specific in your prompt and using the right style tags makes such a big difference. Also, don't forget to check the other settings before generating. In my case, since I plan to animate this later, I'm setting the aspect ratio to 16 by nine. That's the ideal format for YouTube or horizontal videos. Scene two, Max holding an aged treasure map, wide-eyed and amazed. Scene three, Max looking out the attic window at his backyard, matching the map to the landscape. Scene four, 
Max digging excitedly beneath a big oak tree in the yard, dirt flying as he works. What's important here is consistency. Max's hair, clothes, and expressions match perfectly across each image. If your results aren't quite right, tweak your prompt. One small change in wording can dramatically affect your results. Instead of saying, Max holds a map, try Max clutches a weathered treasure map, his hands trembling with excitement. The more vivid your language, the more detail the AI adds, especially in facial expressions, lighting, and body language. I often add lighting, emotion, and even camera angle details to get more polished results. Now we'll bring our still images to life. OpenArt has a built-in image to video feature. To animate a scene, upload the image and describe the movement. For example, scene one, Max walks carefully through the attic, glancing around curiously with dust particles in the light. Scene two, Max studies the map closely, his eyes lighting up with excitement. Scene three, Max looks between the map and the backyard, then points at the tree with excitement. Scene four, Max digs with energy, dirt flying as he uncovers something buried. Keep the clip short five seconds each works well, and be very specific with your motion prompts for better animation. If you want a bit more motion, try adding subtle environmental animations like dust particles swirling, camera slowly zooming in, or light flickering through curtains. These little touches give the animation more depth and atmosphere without requiring major motion. Once that's done, we'll need narration. For this, I'm using Eleven Labs. It's amazing at creating natural sounding AI voices. Pick a voice that fits your story's mood. In this case, I'll go with something warm and adventurous. Then paste in the final script. Max loved exploring his grandfather's attic, but today he found something unexpected. Sometimes the greatest treasures are right where you least expect them. Pacing matters here. Slow it down just enough to match your animations. Now let's put it all together in CapCut, which is free and perfect for this kind of project. Import your animated clips, arrange them based on your story, and sync the voiceover. To finish it off, add some background music that fits the adventure vibe. A few sound effects like attic creaks, paper rustles, and digging noises can take your cartoon to the next level. And there you go, a fully animated cartoon short made with AI tools, no drawing or animation background required. If you want to try this yourself, check the links in the description. If you enjoyed this tutorial, here are a few ideas for your next animation. A sci-fi robot discovering Earth for the first time. A magical pet that leads a kid into a fantasy world. Or even a mystery series starring an AI detective. Comment below which one you want me to cover in the next video. I might even turn one of your ideas into a full project on this channel. Get to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what kind of cartoon character you'd love to create next. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.